Alright, if any of your guards are breaking in D3, just go to this minimum thickness. Bump that up to at least 1.5. And then it's going to give you these thing. It's a little thin right now, that's okay, because later we're going to go to block out large concavities, and then we will bulk that up and make a nice, thick, long-lasting guard. Alright, now we're going to bulk this up. We're going to do that going over to block out large concavities. I'm going to press that a few times. And you can see that it has bulked it up now. It's going to be a lot stronger. And this is why I love D3 split. Perfectly being able to choose the spots that you want your guard. Good shots. Fit. And now it's gonna do all that work for us. Then we're gonna go to add print raft. And it's gonna go wherever you've got this little guy sat at. Let's move him around. You want him at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to bring that up just a little. Perfect. And then, super important part, join. But it's not finished yet. See how the inside isn't contoured? Make sure you click finalize the splint. And then, there we go. Now we can export it. Alright, gonna tell me print fail, but it won't. Let's print the guard. Alright, name, ignore that. Material, how long it'll take. Always queue your print and get started yourself. 